Hey everybody. So late Friday afternoon, we got the word, they left a message on the phone that I am to be here at the, uh, the BC Cancer Agency. This is where all the central, everybody from Vancouver Island that has cancer, this is the like central place that they treat that here in Victoria. Where you should have been brought when we were medically evac and not in the little rural hospital of Well, I haven't been inside yet. So I just did. It's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. So Friday afternoon, they left a message and saying uh, that I have a uh, an appointment with my radiation oncologist at 11 o'clock this morning and they're going to do a CAT scan and mapping to figure out where they're going to shoot the radiation and I'm getting my first treatment. So it's going to be a big day. Here we go. And we don't know if it's going to be five days in a row, one treatment. This all has to be all has to be determined uh, with what we're gonna hear from the doctor, what she's seeing on the MRI and CAT scans and all this that they did. So we're going in, we're in Victoria. We just drove down a couple hours and um, we're nice and early. And it was kind of a shock on Friday to hear that uh, it was like bim bang without being able to talk to the doctor, just show up on Monday. Yeah. It's urgent. So, yeah, we'll fill you in get there. okay, so here we are. We'll let you know what we find out. Okay, love you folks. See ya. See you, everybody. <laughs> here we are coming to you from beautiful. Victoria, BC. Mm -hmm. Victoria is the capital of British Columbia and it's at the tip, southern tip of the island for those who didn't know. The good news is that I only required five treatments, Treat. yeah. five radiation treatments for the two spots that they're hitting, my T1 and my T11. T11. Wow, I'm getting groggy. The hospital, the cancer center here is far enough away from the house that we had to stay here. We did it the first day. It's like two and a half hours. And we came down for the first day uh, for the three appointments that had with the treatment. And then we drove all the way back and arrived like at 7.30 at night. And then we got up at 5.30 in the morning um, I we both mostly me because Dan was out but started packing packing to get ready to come down here and we needed food and we had just done a big grocery shopping with all kind of fresh produce so I had to cook things and freeze things and because I don't like wasting food and then packing everything for a stay here so it was a long long day we started at 5 30 and got at the minute 2 15 to the appointment we walked into the hospital at 2.15. Mm, yeah. So the bad news was we have to stay away. The good news is that we turned it into our radiation vacation. <laughs> We've it's, just been joking around. <laughs> we got to be so careful to people yeah. don't think we take it too lightly. But we don't. But we need, I mean, we need after comic all this, relief. We need comic relief. We need a break from mm. this, you know, from all of this. We, <sighs> Got this beautiful place to hang out for a couple of days. Yeah. While we do radiation vacation. Woohoo! We needed a vacation. We needed a vacation. We needed a vacation so bad, we're happy about it being a, a radiation, radiation vacation. vacation. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, we've been joking. We need a vacation. Once we get this thing squared away, it's and, like, and on okay, track, who has a house somewhere that you can. Give to us, we need a vacation. Yeah, we'll trade houses with you here on Vancouver Island yeah. for, for a couple of weeks. And yeah. We need a vacation, and then when it turned out to, oh, we're going to go to Victoria and spend a week in Victoria. We it's thought, like, well, well, that's, that's yeah, our vacation. It's a radiation vacation. I mean, look at this. So. everything around and it's totally not because we're not aware of the seriousness of the situation no but you know who has more good time than us going through radiation it's like I mean come on I don't care if you're under 
cancer treatment. Who doesn't enjoy this kind of activity? <laughs> Ooh, what a spot. You know, all the doctors say the more positive you are and the more good hormones and that you produce in your body, the better healing you get. Yeah. So better yeah. chances, better odds and everything. So yeah. we're going to stick with being irreverent at times and keep joking around and... Because it's the only way we know. Yeah. We're not in denial. We're not in denial. No. So first... Full of gratitude. Full of gratitude. This hotel, the BC Cancer Center here, has a lodge that puts up people, that, kind of like Ronald McDonald House mm -hmm. kind of thing. If you're out of town, they have a place. Well, they were full all this week. So they have a list of hotels here in the area that offer, they call it a, a courage rate yeah. for people who are here in Victoria and, for and treatment. And this hotel, which is, we'll say it, it's the inn at Laurel Point in the harbor with, I mean, extraordinary views. The rooms are beautiful, comfortable, and uh, the rate that they give is like lower than stopping on the side of the road at the Best Western. Yeah. And that's what we got for, you know, in, yeah. because of them getting right. treatment. So we are super grateful super, to be here. Super, super grateful. And here too, people are really nice. Yeah, everybody is super nice. Yeah. yeah. The Canadians, you know. <laughs> What you doing there, honey? It could be a big old healthy bubble bath, up some salt bath. <laughs> Eggs, honey. That's, fa that's fancy. <laughs> that's luxurious. Look at oh, the job. Wow. Happy healing, honey. Happy. Thanks, baby. <laughs> what else? Grateful to the BC Cancer Agency. Those people there are so nice. I yeah. mean, just watching them, not just interacting with us, but as we walk around and, you know, go to my appointments and stuff, hearing the way they interact with everyone yeah. among themselves, the way they talk among themselves, the way they talk to everybody else, this place is full of healing energy. Totally. It's so nice. It Everybody is uplifting is so nice. to get to walk in there. I mean, yeah. it's a cancer center. It's the first one we've been to. So, well, no, we've been at Dana Farber before yeah. uh, for his first run in with cancer six years ago. But it's really, the experience is incredible. It's uplifting to go in there. Yeah, it's, absolutely. it's kindness all the way around. Yeah. And we are so grateful to now be taken in by these people. Absolutely. Um, so now the, it's more of the good news, bad news about Dan's condition. The good news about my physical condition, my radio-oncologist met with the neurosurgeon and they went over all of my images and everything mm -hmm. to prepare for treatment. And they said that the doctors in Florida who did the work, the neurosurgeons that did the work, did a fabulous job. She was blown away yeah. by the she's, quality she's, of her um, work. She didn't want to be effusive, but she was just like, yeah. Because when they do the MRI with contrast, whatever the glucose part of the contrast that goes straight to cancer, they can see anywhere where there's a speck of cancer cell that is left. And there was not a speck to be found other than the bad news. Right. The bad news is it's still, it's actually inside the bone of that vertebrae, my T1 vertebrae. There's still some cancer cells inside the bone. That the surgeons couldn't get to because it's inside the bone. Well, I imagine they didn't want to take away any more bone than they <laughs> no. already did. So Yeah. So there's still some cancer in T1, in T11, and, and a small one we hadn't heard of in, uh, I think in it's my L1, lumbar. lumbar down uh, in my lumbar. L1. Right. So, and yeah, they talk about during treatment, oh, you'll be fatigued, you'll be fatigued, and they keep like emphasizing that. that. And me, with my big ego, hmm. asked, well, what causes the fatigue? Oh, well, you know, there's not really scientific proof, but it's just, it's common, and it's just kind of a side effect. And, and I'm like, nah. <laughs> you don't know me. I don't get fatigued. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. 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 Seriously. Uh, yeah. Yesterday, the hotel staff was coming in to bring the luggage and things in the room. Dan was in bed under the covers. He didn't even get up, even when there were other people in the room bringing in stuff and settling with some extra lamps and things like that for us. And Dan was just like, 
I was out. <laughs> completely, yeah, completely. I feel it. And it suppresses appetite, and you know, you're yeah. getting some sensation of the burn that they do, the collateral burn that they do other than the cancer cells. So, yeah. So we didn't know that radiation therapy actually causes it causes fatigue. side yeah. effects. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot again, again, again. You know, even though we're not in the tragic part of everything right now, the dramatic part, we so much need support. We feel quite isolated otherwise. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of, you know, it's a big deal to, it's a lot to deal with. So all the love, the quick messages, just telling us you're thinking about us, it means an awful lot to us. Even when we don't have time to reply, yeah, we yeah, take it in, exactly. take it in, take it in. Yeah. And it means a lot. It's really carrying us through yeah. a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you folks. Love you back. Mm -hmm. For yeah. sure. Bye. Bye. There he is. Last treatment. <laughs> Done with the radiation. <laughs> Good job, baby. <laughs> uh, radiation therapy sucks. It kicked my ass. I didn't know it was going to. I, my ego was so big. Ah. It's no big deal, it's just a big x-ray. I'll be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay, but it really, really did kick my ass. So, not to be trifled with. Okay, see you folks.